Ooh, okay, so here's what I'm doing. Have you ever just checked on eBay or whatever because you're looking for a flu, but your budget is super tight right now? I mean, things are crazy right now, so not looking to invest in a whole lot right here. So I'm on eBay and I see a ton of flutes that are dirt cheap right now. I found one for $20 that I don't even have to bid on. It's a buy me now. I'm thinking about doing it. What all do I have to lose? Actually, there's a lot to lose, but I'm still really curious to see what kind of flute that I can get for $20. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy it and let's see what happens. All right, let's order this. Is it here yet? Is it here yet? Is it here yet? What just came in the mail? Let's open it up and see what our $20 flute looks like. All right, here's the flute case. It's a light pink. It looks really gross. Um, it's a shame, because these bags are kind of nice. Um, I'll see if I can clean it up. If not, I'll just buy a new one. Um, I can also tell this came from a smoker's home, but let's check out the flute itself. And here's the flute. So far, so good. It looks pretty clean. There's a little bit of wear and tear on it so far. Um, I can see that a lot of the pads here um, probably will need replaced. A lot of them look chewed up or I'm not even sure what happened. And the flute is missing the cap part. Um, but let's actually see how it plays. I mean, so far I've only spent $20, and if that's the only thing I'm missing and I need new pads, that's still not too bad. All right, let's actually try playing it, even though it's got the missing cap. Um, that's okay, the cork's still in there, so it still should play. Let's play it, see how it feels, listen for any leaks. Normally, when you're listening for leaks and seeing how the pads are, you just start from low C and play into the higher registers. I can't even get low C out though. So that means this flute is not absolutely perfect. Otherwise, I'd be getting a sound. Oh, I'm getting a little sound there. That's not C though, I moved up. I am able to play low D though. All right, so I could, I struggled in the lower register and the higher register has some issues, but your mid range seemed just fine. So I know that this flute, it's not totally broken. And I mean, I could still probably play some of our beginner stuff with it. 
Okay, I'm also gonna just try some fast, faster exercises just to see how it handles. So, when I was playing the chromatic scale, I was able to get this note F out fine. But when I'm playing it faster, I'm not really hitting it. It's it's like it's being skipped. So I'm gonna say I think I think this. Now I'm not a repair man at all, so I really don't know how to determine when pads need changed or all the tests they do. Um, so I'm just really playing and seeing how it all feels as a whole. I do know it does need some repairs. So let's see what Ollie can do with this flute. All right, so I decided that I was going to try to repair this flute myself and see how cheap I can keep my costs down. I'm just thinking about all the opportunities that if I can learn how to fix the flute and if I can keep my costs down, what all I can do. So, well, of course, with still making the flute play well and sound well. So anyway, the first part of our flute we talked about was the missing crown. I mean, it still plays without the crown, but your flute should have a crown. Also within your flute, we have a cork, and there's a cork in here. There's already a cork oops, in my flute, as you can see. And to tell if the cork is even placed right is on your cleaning rod, there's a line here. So you can see there's a line, and when you put it in backwards, the line should match in the middle of the flute hole. I don't know if you can see that, but it already lines in the middle. And it already feels very secure, so I'm not gonna change the cork, because it's already secure, it's already aligned. All I need is the crown, which I bought here. I actually got a crown and cork combo for $14. So, so far, my costs have still remained low. Now all I have to do is just screw this bad boy on. And I need to make sure I didn't accidentally adjust the cork, which I didn't. So now we have a beautiful cork on our head. So now I'm just gonna polish this up because it's really dirty right now. And now our head joint is complete. See, you can see how dirty it is. It's like filmy and gross. One hour later. Okay, now I've been researching on how to change the pads in the flute. So, I mean, it's always easier watching someone else do it though, right? Well, today our kit came in and it came with instructions. So, let's see if we can Figure this thing out. Okay, so the back talks about light leak instructions. Light not included with all the kits. Isn't it, um, this thing looks like it's a light. I don't know if that's what it actually is. I said, I don't know anything about repair or anything like that. But I thought for $20, we don't have much to lose. This kit was $25, so it was actually more expensive than the flute. But I'm just thinking of all the possibilities that can happen if we learn. So, okay, I think this is a kit, the light kit. Oh, perfect. And it even lights. Perfect, all right, let's see how, because I would think you'd have to check for light leaks first. What if not all pads need replaced? What if it's like one or two? Where's the on button? <laughs> there we are, okay. 
Okay, so maybe if I put the flute on my leg and put this down here. Okay, so this, I'm not pushing any keys or anything down. How do I know if I'm looking at a leak here? Let's see. Here, I'll show it. Hopefully you can see what I'm looking at here. Whoa. Oop, I accidentally turned it off. It takes me forever to turn it on. And then I easily push it off. Okay, so this is what I see here. I don't have any of these keys pushed down. Let's see if I push them down. This is really hard. Just like in science class, we should read through the instructions first before starting anything. So I'm gonna take a moment to do this. This might be harder than I thought. This sounds pretty complicated. Folks online, they made it look pretty easy, so. <sighs> this will be interesting. All right, let's, um, the first step was to basically take apart the flute. Not gonna lie, I've never taken apart a flute before, so this will be interesting. Okay, so I forgot to pay attention to the springs. So this one doesn't wanna come out because of this spring here, and I, and I don't want to replace any of the springs, so I'm going to, um, I guess do this now. If this isn't nerve-wracking, I don't know what is. One hour later. <sighs> Hooray, we did it, okay. <sighs> Even just that felt challenging, so see? I got all the keys and rods off. Now, we're supposed to take the pads off. Yeah, it was time for these bad boys to go. They're like, rotted, I would say. They're like, hard and crusty and peely. Like, gross. Time to go. Alright, so next we're supposed to measure and compare the pads to make sure they fit. Everything looks like it fits perfect. Okay, so now we need to reinsert the food pads. We need to put glue down and heat. So this one seems like it might be a little low, so I guess we'll put it, give it a try, maybe two. Oh, these are marked with numbers, 17.5. That looks pretty good, right? Guess we'll see. All right, so it's day two now. Um, I didn't plan on going to bed, but I had dinner and got sleepy, so I went to bed. And then I did my research on how to do this. So I understand why the instructions were written the way they were, but they didn't do a good job. So there are a couple things. So the adhesive stuff is for the little pads and then they have like this tool for the bigger pads that like irons the pad out that's not in the kit so I had to order that but today 
we can do the little pets. Okay, so what they were doing was, I saw people using candles for the heat source, so they didn't have to like hold the lighter while we heat stuff. So we're gonna do the candle thing so I don't have to sit here and hold this. So let's just, um, I really hope this works. I forgot, we were supposed to like slightly poke the pad with a needle to, I guess, let out gases. So. I think I got them. They feel pretty secure. They look, they look pretty good. There we go. So hopefully this was done right. I guess we'll find out um, later. All right, while we wait for our piece to come in, I thought we might as well still work on the tarnishing here. So I have a pan here with some secretive powder and I'm going to pour some of my homemade secretive solution in here to work on the tarnishing on this flute while we have it apart. And now we let the solution do the work. Twenty minutes later. Okay, our flute has been soaking for a while, so now we need to dump the solution and then give the flute a good rinse. see in the pan how gross or dirty the flute was. Several days later. All right, so our tool finally came in, so now we can get going with the pads again. All right, let's start with the G sharp or A flat one. So I cleaned these up too. My problem is some of these had corks on them and the corks fell off when I put them in the solution. So I'm gonna have to figure out which ones have the little corks and felts on them and I'm gonna have to re-put them back on, I guess. So I put the pad back in here. Then we need to put uh, this thing back on it. Clamp that back in there so it's held on. Okay. Now the next thing they did was like, they ironed it out and that was why we were waiting on this tool. This is the flute pad ironer. So let's see if I can do this. This is, this is the scary part. So the first thing they did was we just have a cup of water and it was said to just put a little bit of water on the pad. So I guess let's let's do that. And then we're gonna use the same kind of fire trick that we did earlier. They had it on a candle to heat this up to iron it out.
Okay, I'll have to make sure I get a better shot for the next time. So after you put the clip on, right, there's a bunch of wrinkles in the pad and after I just ironed it out, which was what we just saw, it became really smooth. All the wrinkles were taken right out. Okay, so now let's put this on the flute, just this one, because we're gonna have to basically, almost like an embed, embedded print of the flute in here, because you know, all our things, they come up. Now, when we look or compare with our current flutes that we have, ones that don't need repair, like, look, when we're looking at a flute with the pads already in it, you see how there's the indentation of where the flute pad sits? That's what we need to create and to do because right now it's just smooth and it doesn't have those indentations. So let's try to give that a try. Twelve sleepless hours later. All right, so it's been about the time, a little bit over. I'm not gonna lie, I already cheated and I unclamped it and look, looked. But check this out. Ta-da, it worked. All right, I have the flute all the way put together. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't have to look back to see where all the keys went. I was able to put it back together. Uh, the hard part was sometimes just getting the springs where they belong. So I think I have them all where they're supposed to go. Um, I guess we'll find out, but here is the moment of truth, whether it plays or not and how I did Repatting this thing. Let's see. Oh, I think I made it worse. <laughs> 